I just want to say how excited I am to start this installation tomorrow, and this is going to be so nice. These are going to be your Corvette C7 Z06 brakes, um, basically upgraded CTS-V uh, calipers. They do have the vented pistons there, so that does help with some heat dissipation. Um, I just got done installing these Goodridge uh, part number 12227. Um, Camaro Z All One uh, stainless steel brake lines, which is going to be awesome. Once everything's installed, I'm sure pedal fuel is going to get so much better. This is a water bottle, just for reference on how incredibly huge these calipers are. It's honestly pretty amazing. Um, what you're going to want to have for these stainless lines, um, you're going to want the one two 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 seven, and they will say for the Z All One. And that's basically going to be what you need to make these fit onto any fifth generation Camaro. In order to install these on these six piston calipers, what you're going to need to do is find the corresponding right front to the right front caliper. And you'll be needing a 14 millimeter socket in which you're going to put the banjo bolt through in between these two copper washers right here. And they're basically crushed washers, so whenever you do get to tightening everything up, you want to keep it a little loose until you get it on the car, so that whenever you need to maneuver um, the line, you'll have enough uh, room and length and you won't have any tension going on here. Once you do find the correct routing, then you will proceed to tighten these down. Um, this 13 millimeter right here basically um, is going to allow you to remove this so that you can place your pads in and it, it's pretty simple you just unscrew it while simultaneously making sure that this piece is held in between the slot right here so that it does not turn and then you'll be able to remove it otherwise it'll continue to spin okay so this is about getting the old caliper removed um, there's going to be two 18 millimeter bolts going through here. The corresponding holes are right here and right here. And there will also be a 10 millimeter bolt going through here, holding the remainder of the brake line through here. Then the next step is going to be removing this brake line from the actual connection that's made into the, to the car. For the rotor removal, you're going to need a T27 and it's going to go in here like so. And it shouldn't be on too tight. If it is on there too tight, then go ahead and tap it out. Um, take something, maybe this block, tap it in there, and then you'll get a better grip in here. But whatever you do, don't strip it because it's going to be a pain to get it out if you do. For anybody that's looking to make this upgrade, DBA makes some of the best rotors out there. Um, this design is not going to be like Power Stop or Brakenetics or some of these cheaper ones. Um, they may weigh 32 pounds. And the thickness, I believe, is also 32. Uh, these are the 370 millimeter size rotors. And uh, I mean, they, they're good quality stuff, so we'll go ahead and unbox it. Yeah, these things are absolutely nice. I mean, they're beautiful and they are kind of heavy though. But I guess the main benefit you're getting here is, you know, this is actually gonna do what it's intended to do. And it's actually gonna release heat as well as increase your stopping power. A lot of the other ones are more for show. This one's gonna add a little weight, but it's gonna do the job uh, probably much better than the other ones would. Yeah, installing these is basically just the reverse process of what we just did. Again, this is the T27 that you'll be needing. Okay, the next step is gonna be doing the brake line and I've already gotten that done. Basically, it's gonna be this 13 millimeter right here to the stop part. You want a 10 millimeter right here to pull that piece out. And once you do, the assembly will come out and then remove this clip with a little flat head. It's really not too hard. You just basically just pry along that edge right there. And then do the reverse process to get it back in. And that's about it. To get these uh, calipers back on, what you're going to need to do is go... The easiest way is just to go to AutoZone. And what you're going to want to do is just ask them for a uh, 2012 or 2015 Camaro ZL1 um, and then ask them for the caliber bolts. These were $5.99, really cheap, cost-effective, 
and they are torqued to yield so make sure that when you're doing this um, you have all the correct specs and not to over tighten but these do come with loctite so that's great now here we go for the pads um, this is the part number you're going to want to get for the uh, pin and caliber kit that way you don't have to pay the absurd prices GM is going to make you pay um, it's not too complicated you're basically just going to be taking this putting it in here putting one in here and then removing this that we talked about earlier in the video um, the last step is going to be adding this over all of it to hold the pad secure in place as far as the pads go um, the cheapest possible thing you could do is get these from amazon um, these are the brembo the hp 1000 so these are really really nice pads um, no shortcuts here on pricing um, normally they're about 300 bucks on amazon you can get them for about 212 shipped currently i think it might be going up as we speak but this is probably going to be the best deal you have on pads uh, what you guys can do just to make this a little bit easier is just get some of this grease and uh, smother it on there on, on this back of the shim uh, before you start putting it in but putting it in is pretty straightforward it literally just slides in there while this is all new this is just a quick note of the correct layout right here as you see this part is going to be going over that black piece and the pin is going to be going in this direction from back to front and it'll be the same thing with that bottom piece once you pin this down and run the pin through there this is what your finished product is going to look like and man is this beautiful gosh that is just something to be wow i love that uh, do this with a buddy have an 11 millimeter what you'll do is you'll put it here and you'll open it which will open the line. You want to start with the inner and you'll want to move to the outer. And as you pump, uh, let it go to the floor and then you'll tighten this back up after two or three times of doing that. And that should remove most of the air. Yeah, that's about as cool as it's gonna get, man. That's Those things are huge in there. Gosh, I love them though.